Hey, what is good, ladies and gentle niggas? It is your boy, Moon Monkey, coming at you with another episode of Banjo-Kazooie. So let us get it poppin', baby. Let us get it poppin'. Last time, we just pretty much started the game, so we got introduced to this green bitch right here, Gruntilda, and we got to rescue our sister, so that's how the game go, and it looks like now that we op open up Mumbles Mountain, some of the niggas have run free in the, in the wilderness, so we want to make sure we clean up. Hold up, we gotta be the Orkin Man real quick. Try to be the Orkin Man real quick. All right, so let's head back into Mumbo's Mountain because there's still a few more things that we can do up in this bitch right here. So I think once you leave and come back, um, there needs to be, yeah, Jinjo's respawn and all that shit. Um, I think the notes are still gone, so. No, the new, no, the notes are still here, I think. Yup, so we gotta make sure we collect all the notes on one. I wanna collect all the notes on one go because it definitely might become a little bit confusing along the way if you whether or not you collected all the notes. So wanna make sure I collect all my notes on the first go around. Probably um what I want to try to do every time I go to a new level, I'll try my best to at least collect all the notes as humanly possible. But y'all yeah, niggas know a nigga human. Nigga human, ain't no androids in this bitch, man, nigga. Ain't no androids, so it's gonna be kinda hard to remember which notes I've collected and which I haven't, so. I wanna make sure I collect all the notes. Alright, so, what I definitely wanna do, I wanna make sure I climb back up here. And we wanna use our new ability that we got. There's still one more move that we haven't got in this level, so I wanna make sure we find that. Um, let's go over here, collect all these notes, and I'll, cl um, I'll collect back the other notes in the entrance area, so. Let's do just that. Let's do just that. I believe we're like 90-something, so any more notes is probably going to be where that monkey that we saw the last episode. And I definitely want to go see that monkey. Matter of fact, fuck the notes. Want to see the monkey. You guys don't want to see me collect the same damn notes that we collected last episode. So if we're lucky, we might be able to collect those final notes in this shit. So let's see. All right, this is Conga's tree. Me hit bear with orange. All right, so luckily we got these nice little fruit pads. And we want to try to get Congo to actually hit the blocks with the orange. As a matter of fact, he has an orange right on his tree, so we want to collect that orange. That's Congo's orange. Put it back. Nah, Congo. This is our shit, nigga. All right, so we want to make sure we hit this little pad. There we go. So we got one more little orange pad right here, so... Let my boy Congo hit that. There we go. Look at the flick of the wrist, Congo. Crever bear. All right, so there we go. And I'm guessing he still will throw oranges at us, but we already got what we wanted. We already got what we wanted, and that makes six jigsaw puzzles, six jiggies. And I think once you give this monkey the orange, he will raise the platform for us. Oh, Chimpy like Congo's orange. Chimpy helped fat bear. Oh, shit. <laughs> This is how niggas get scrapped, but since you a monkey, we gon' let it fly. We gon' let it fly. And that is our... What is this? Seventh? Yeah, our seventh jigsaw puzzle. Seventh jiggy. And I think we get one more once we learn our final ability in this level. So we got a couple eggs last episode. Time to figure out what we can do with these damn eggs, baby. Alright. Time for the buzzer to learn an, an ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Let's go. Teach me. Teach me how to doggy, nigga. Yeah, so now he's gonna teach us how to shoot eggs. Alright, sounds cool. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. That sounds painful. <laughs> I wish I'd never asked. Alright, Bird Brain can carry up to 100 eggs in her pack. Oh, and you could also use the control stick to aim. Alright. I think I've heard press A to talk a lot faster. Yup. <laughs> I don't want to wait for them to just finish talking and shit, so. Alright, my nigga dab me up with a couple more eggs. Oh, and he healed me up. Not bad. Whoa, Banjo. There's nothing more I can teach you in this level. Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Yup. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get all these eggs. And I believe there's a, actually a switch somewhere around here. But first, let me go bop this man. So we're going to hit my boy Congo in the face. Me safe here, Bear Kent. Nigga, take these eggs. Bop, bop. And he's going to throw some oranges at us. So there we go. No scope on the nigga. There we go. Oh, we fell. We got to hop back up. Hop back up, Banjo. Hop back up. Nigga be talking hot shit, throwing oranges at us and shit. Nigga catching work. Take this IHOP special, nigga. Ooh. All right, there we go. Can I snipe him? There we go. All right, I think I missed. 
Get a little closer. There we go. Right to the chest. Ugh. Bear beat Conga. Meek your prize. Yes, bitch. Yes. Give me that shit. What's that? Our eighth jiggy? Yup. Looks like our eighth jiggy. But before we drop down there, hopefully we don't fall. There's also another path over here I think we can take, yup. So we gotta make use of our double jump. Oh, another Mumbo token. Alright, so we got three. We need two more so we can actually um, go to Mumbo for our little special transformation. Oh, and this one puts another Jiggy right outside the level. Alright, not bad, not bad. Is that all it does? Alright, looks like that's all it does. Alright, so let's get this Jiggy. Alright, so, what else is there to do in this damn place? Oh, this nigga's still throwing oranges at us? Like, we just fucked you up, and this is how you gonna repair- Alright. Alright. Alright, this is why we don't- This is why we don't help out niggas these days. Everybody wants to come for the throat. Alright, so... I think last time, yeah, we had 91... I think we didn't go in here, though. Let's actually head inside this termite hole. Let's see if there's any more notes. I have a feeling there will be notes in here. Oh, there's another one! Alright, so we'll make sure we kill off this termite. And I think there's only it's only so high we can go with Kazooie before we have to fall off. Sorry, we need one more. Alright, so yeah, looks like we start to fall off here. I mean, I think there's some more notes up here, so... Let's see. If we can actually fudge it a little bit. Nah, we can't go that steep. So we need to find one more Mumbo's token so we can actually... Go to my boy Mumbo. So, let's do a little bit more searching. Alright, so fuck all these termites. I want to make sure I collect all these notes just so I have I keep in track how many notes that we have on deck. So let's bop that. Oh, nigga want to dat me, so hit him upside the head. Get this nigga a straight concussion. Let him know he fucking with goons right now. Let him know. Somebody needs to be reminded. Some, sometimes niggas need to be reminded that they fucking with goons. Alright, so let's get that. Alright, these are eggs. Don't really need eggs. I need goddamn notes. Alright, so bop this. Alright, that's an enemy. Let's backflip once more. Oh, and now that we have our eggs, I think we can actually do this totem pole shit. Alright, fuck you, nigga. Alright. And I think this was a jigsaw puzzle, which is not going to be a jigsaw puzzle anymore. Alright, so right now we got 41. Matter of fact, no, I think there, I think another mumble token should be up here somewhere. Alright, let's see. So we gotta try to do a little bit more. Alright, let's see. We gotta line these eggs up into these niggas' mouths. So let's see. Snipe. Nigga, that was right in your mouth. Do not cheat me, nigga. There we go. Alright, and I think it's starting to get a little faster, so. Bop. Nope. There we go. Alright, get a little faster. Bop. Nigga, that was right in your mouth! And one, nigga! Do not cheat. Alright, niggas wanna cheat me now. I, I see it in your mouth, though. Alright, nigga. You wanna... You really fucking with me right now. I just put these eggs in your mouth, nigga. Get in your mouth! Why is the second one so hard? There we go. And I think if we jump up here, there should be... Yup, honeycomb piece. I remember that shit. I definitely remember that shit. Alright, so let's actually... Let's not fall. And I think you should give us another... There we go. Where the Jiggy at? There we go. Let's get Jiggy with it, baby. Alright, so now we need one more um, Jiggy, and then we're done with this whole level, but we need to find one more Mumbo's token to actually be done with this place, so let me see. We need to find one more. I'm trying to figure out where the hell this one more is, though. Alright, so let's get all these notes. Sorry to wake you up, my nigga Mumbo, but we are doing a little something right now. Alright, so there's eggs up here. I know in each level, um, at the top of um, Mumbo's shack, there's like hidden shit up here. Sometimes there's notes, sometimes there's other collectibles which we haven't got to yet, but can I get on this pole? Like shit. My nigga, there we go. Simple jump will do it. All right, collect these eggs, just to refill our ammo. There we go. All right, so let's drop down. All right, let me check right behind Mumbo's hut real quick, cause I'm not entirely sure if there's gonna be another Mumbo token behind there, but hopefully there will be. Nope. You would think there would be something behind there, but I guess not. Alright, so where can we find this goddamn find old Mumbles token? Because I think we can actually complete the whole um, level on one fell swoop. But we need to find one more Mumbles token to actually get to Mumbles on um, transformation to actually get that final Jiggy. So that's what I'm stressing. That's what we need to find. Alright, right now we have 50 notes. 50 notes. Right now we have 50 notes. Okay. Collect all these. Now let's collect these right here. 
All right, is that everything up here? Is that everything on the hill? Look like it. Look like it. All right. So let's see what's around this other area. So try to look for. We want to make sure we comb this whole area. We don't want to leave out anything. All right, we're in the water. Oh, and I think I see something up in that little ditch right there. So I think we definitely want to slide down. I don't know if Kazooie can actually walk down there. Let's see. Looks like we can't. Oh, no, no, she, we can't. We can't. So that's something that we actually have to go down there and actually line up and slide down there. So I want to make sure we do that. I want to make sure we collect these notes. No note left behind. All right, so let's make it back to the surface. And I think we got a little more progress, so we should be good. Can I make it up this bridge? Nah. I know the water does, like, bob up and down, so sometimes you might be able to actually make it to that bridge if you jump. All right, but for the time being, definitely want to climb up this hill. All right, so we got to line this shit up. Line this shit the fuck up. All right, so let's see. Is this it? Fuck, we messed up. <laughs> <laughs> we messed up. And it looks like Banjo can't climb onto the ledges. Keddy? Keddy? No, it looks like he can't. I know a Banjo too, he could actually like shimmy across the ledges, but... Guess we gotta wait to the sequel to do that shit, Banjo. Guess we gotta wait to the sequel. Now, I need to line up this shit right here, though. Nigga, get the fuck out of my way. I'm trying to bump into me and shit. Give me back my honeycomb piece, bitch. Fuck you think this is? We is a man and bird. All right, so let's see if we can line it up. It's right there. Can I get it? All right, so it looks like it's a honeycomb piece. Um, thought it would be a mumbo's token. It will definitely... I'd rather take a mumbo's token than a honeycomb piece, but let's try to get that honeycomb piece right quick. I'm not entirely sure if we might be able to double jump once we start sliding, but let's see if we can line this shit proper this time. All right, so right up here. Alright, so let me see if right here should be good enough. Right about here. Let's see, survey says. Yes, sir, baby! We got it, we got it. Alright. Took us a took us quite a bit, but we got it. Alright, so we need to find this goddamn mumbo token. Can a nigga get a mumbo token, please? Alright, so right now we at 70. 70 notes. There we go, 73. About to put us at 75, 76. There we go. All right, some more notes up here. And I wonder if there's a mumble token somewhere behind um this whole um these ruins. Want to make sure once I collect all these notes, want to definitely check. Oh, I see it. I see our final mumble token. All right, we should be good. We should be good. We good. And we got 90 notes. There we go. Now we can actually see my nigga Mumbo. I was afraid that we actually had to um, start backtracking to um, a new level to find enough bubbles token, but we good. And right now we got 94 notes. I think that's what we had last time, so let's go see my nigga Mumbo. Let's go see my nigga Mumbo. All right, so let's see. I want to head over to my nigga Shaq. One thing I'm not sure, I'm not sure if there's a um, honeycomb pieces in each area, like a full set of them to get a new extra life, but... Let's see. Ah, Banjo has plenty of tokens. Stand on the skull and press B to see Mighty Mumbo's magic. I nigga. Let's press B. And there we go. And with that, Mumbo transforms us into a termite. So now we can actually go to the termite hill. Mumbo's magic free to change Banjo back. So yeah, termite. Bit small, but not bad for first spell. And, and actually, you could actually um, do, um, you could actually leave outside of the level with these transformations, but you can't go that far, but I think for this first level, we can actually get go outside of this um, level with, in the termite mode, so. But in each level, Bubble will transform us into like a creature. You can kind of tell what creature Bubble's going to turn you into based off of the level and what kind of creatures you go up against, so. We saw a bunch of termites in this whole level, so it's only fitting that we turn into a termite, and since termites are able to stick on just about any wall we'll be able to go on these steep hills real quick and i think i see the final sets of our notes so let's collect these notes right quick hey yo nigga can you get away from these we can't we can't really fight as a termite so we're gonna have to actually lure this all right so we got the two notes there we go all the notes completed there we go well done all right good 
So now that we got all the notes, all we need to worry about is the final Jiggy. So let's try to get that Jiggy. So I know these little termites going to be scheming. Give me that cool backpack. Oh, nigga, try to jock me for my backpack. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here. And it looks like we're at the top of the termite hill where I believe. All right, we can get a life. But fuck the life. Fuck the life, nigga. We want something more valuable than that. We want the goddamn Jiggy, baby. And I think we got all the Jiggies in the area. So we're pretty much done with this level. And that's pretty much what that little chime right there signifies. We completed the level. So we're pretty much done with Mumbo's Mountain. There we go, nigga. We plowing through this game already. First level already completed in this bitch. But next levels won't be that easy. Certain le The levels definitely get a lot bigger. And we definitely have to start exploring a lot more. But it's all good. All right. Grunchy's magic stops taking the notes off of the door. All right. All right. Try to get 100 notes on each world. All right, bottles. All right. But now that we're at Termite, we can actually climb up this steep hill a lot quick easier. I know we could probably jump up here with Kazooie, but we could do it a lot easier as a Termite. Matter of fact, I don't think we can do it as a Termite in um, as Kazooie, so we have to be a Termite. All right, Mumbles Magic's getting weak. Animal turn back or Magic go. All right. Nah, nigga. Just auto turn me back, nigga. Magic all gone. Bumble Bus go back. All right. All right, thank you, homie. Thank you for the transformation. And now that we got the talent try, we're able to walk up this steep hill. I don't think we're able to walk up it normally. Let's see. Yeah, so we needed the talent try to walk up that hill. So now that we have the talent try, we're actually able to progress to the next level. And we can talk to my boy Bottles. What's good, Bottles? All right, this is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful magic spells. Open it up, them jam jars. Hey, that's a little nod to the the sequel. All right, that's not it. All right, collect the musical notes from the worlds. Nigga, it says 50 on the damn door. All right. Okay, so your best note scores will pretty much be recorded. All right, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up. All right, so that's a good thing about bottles. He actually heals you up every time you go to his molehills. But now that we got 100 notes, which is 50 more than we need, we can actually progress to the next area. Look at this. We plowed through. We plowed through. We've been a rescue our sister. All right, that door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, you're first and you're last. All right, Grunty Tilt still talking that hot shit. All right, so right now we got 11 jiggies to spare. All right, open the door. Baddies escape and robe on once more. All right. And let's press A again. All right, so now we got our second level. And actually, I think this might be one of my favorite levels. I don't know if it's my favorite. Well, matter of fact, I think this might be my favorite. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but now we got a new level opened up. All right, and we got some new enemies. We got some of Grunty's grunts, <laughs> for lack of a better word. All right, and it looks like we got a little item right here. We, don't ha we haven't learned about it yet. Kazooie Shock Jump Disc. Find me, yes. Yeah, so we gotta find bottles to teach us about that move. But let's actually head down this little stairway right here. I believe we're gonna get to first of our warp points. This little cauldron. What's good, homie? You've activated the magic cauldron. Find two of the same color. Yup, I already know what you're gonna say. All right, cool. All right, I wanna collect all these eggs. I wanna make sure we, we all load it up. We wanna be strapped, Kazooie. Oh, and we got a mumble token. Good thing we did come down here. I didn't even see that mumble token. All right, so good thing we found a mumble token. That definitely should help us out when it comes to the next level when we want to try to transform and shit. All right, so let's actually turn around. All right, so shock this. We can't do anything about that right now. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, Um, this is Grunty's sister, I think. I believe it's Grunty's sister. Hello there, young ones. My name is Bruntilda, Gruntilda's nicest sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. But about time she ta I taught a lesson. All right, discussing secrets. I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. All right. All right, Grunties brushes her teeth with rotten. I think that these, um, the ones that, um, Bruntilda tells us is that, um, at the end of the game, I think Grunty might, um, she's gonna kind of quiz us, and we need to, like, remember some of this shit, so I definitely remember that. Alright, I just wanna keep that in my mind. Alright, so that's pretty much the three things she's gonna tell us. Um, Gr she said that she's Grunty's sister, so that means Grunty has four sisters if you play Tui, because I think 
No, she has three sisters. Because you meet two of the sisters in um, Banjo Tui, and I think Brentilda's like the the fourth. So the one good sister out of <laughs> out of three thoughts, man. Not a good ratio. Whoever the parents are, they definitely did a bad job parenting. One good daughter, three thoughts. That's all I can say, man. All right, so let's see what's down here. Is this the way to the level? Yes, it is. All right, so I definitely want to explore that whole other area before we actually head into this new area. So let's see. Let us see. I think you can actually dive down here. So let's actually start doing a little swimming. And the good thing about getting more honeycomb pieces, they actually extend your breath underwater. So we definitely want to be making full use of any honeycomb piece that we find. All right, so let's see what's here. All right, there we go. All right, so this is another level, but we need to find the Jiggy Podium real quick to actually put the jigsaw pieces in. And from the looks of it, it looks of it, we need a lot of jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> we gonna need a lot of jigsaw puzzles. I don't like stairs much. All right. All right, yeah, so we can't really do anything about Grunty. She'll, like, occasionally start hitting us with banter as we, like, go throughout our castle. But let's talk to Bruntilda real quick. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Hog Breath, all right? Talk to her again. Press B. I also know that Sweaty Gorilla Feet is her favorite... What the fuck? Spelly Gorilla Feet? She like that Donkey Kong Feet. What? All right. What, was it done something? Well, fuck it, fuck it. We'll come back to it later. I mean, I'm sure, like, towards the end of the game, I'll definitely try to hit up every, um, Brentilda station, try to see what she has to say. I don't think she's gonna be that important. I think it's just for, like, shits and giggles, for the most part, but... I do think that some of these will be, um, we will be quizzed on some of these shits, so... Definitely want to be prepared for that. But... Let's hop out that water. And right, let's see what's up here. I definitely think there's something up here as well. Yup. And we got another note door, so let's see how much this note door costs. This one is... 180, so we need to find some more notes. All right. And I think we could actually go into two other areas, so we can hop up here real quick. Let's see what's up here. We're just doing a little exploring. Finding more Bumble tokens, that will definitely help out. Any more um, jigsaw pieces. All right, let's see. And I think there might be something in the water. Is there something in the water? Something in the water. Now, there ain't nothing in the water. Ain't nothing in the water. All right, so we can't really progress that far right now. Um, oh, I see a switch, though. Looks like we can progress a little further. All right, so good thing we did jump in the water. Fresh up out that water. Raise up the little pillars so we can actually cross the river. Not bad, not bad. All right, so let's actually find these. There you go. All right, let's see what's across here. Hopefully there's another switch. All right, so looks like this will open up some shit. Let's see what it does. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Progress, nigga. That's what I like to see. Progress. All right, so we want to head up here. I'm not entirely sure what we're about to find out. Might be another molehill. Not entirely sure. Oh, all right. We see another Brentilda. Oh, and we got another collectible. We haven't really come across um what to do with these feathers yet, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out in our next um in our in the next level we're about to go to. So let's hit the switch right here. And it's gonna open up to another area. Okay, let's hop down in the water. Let's see where this is going to take us. All right, so let's see what's out over here. We can't really progress that far unless we have more notes, but it's good to at least see where all the areas that we can travel to um, might find new um, levels. Let's see. All right, so we got a little more eggs. Not entirely sure if this is too steep to walk up, so let's go with the talent trot just to be safe. All right, so looks like we got a little bit... We found another level. All right, let's press Z. Now let's press A one at a time. All right, to remove pieces that you have already put on, press the C down C button. All right. All right, bottles. All right, thank you for the help. Thank you for the help. All right, so let's see. Do we have enough notes? If you want to place them all. Yeah, now he's going to tell us that we can press Z. Yeah, there we go, Z. There we go. And now we have access to the third level, but I don't think we can actually reach the third level just yet. We got to actually open up that note, that note door, I believe. So we should be good for the time being. I just wanted to make sure that we actually... um kind of explored all the areas that we can but now that we did that want to make sure we collect all these eggs as well we want to stay fully loaded all right so let's head back down into this water real quick all right can we actually get into this damn hole there we go and i think there's one more area that we can actually 
do a little bit more searching it. So let's try to find that. Uh, where is it? Which way do we need to go? We need to go over here. And I think once we go over here, what the fuck we go do? Yeah, we go to the top part. No, I think this was the top part. We go to the bottom part of the sewers. My boy Banjo, he smell a, he must be smelling nasty to the motherfucker. She he going through a witch's sewers right now. Can't be nothing more nastier than that shit, nigga. All right, so let's drop down here. And let's see what's in this area right here. Survey says. All right. Oh, more enemies. Can we kill this nigga? There we go. And let's see what's over here. Oh, another cold jet. I don't think it's the same color, but let's find out. All right, you activated the magic cauldron. Fine, two of the same. All right, all right. Nigga talking the same shit to me. All right, can we jump up here, though? All right, let's see. Is there anything that we should be looking out for? I thought there'd be some collectibles over here, but it looks like it's just another cauldron. Oh, mumble token. Good thing we did a little searching, though. Good thing we did a little searching. Always comes in handy to search around. That's the thing about Banjo Kazooie. You only you benefit the best when you actually do a lot of searching. Ooh, and another collectible which we haven't actually found right now. I think we won't find that until a couple more levels deep. But looks like we did pretty much all the exploring that we can do for now. So what I think I might do, I think I will end off the episode right here, and then next time we'll actually head into the next level, which is I believe it's called. Let's see. I think it's called Treasure Cove Co Trove or some shit like that. Hold up, hold up. Let's actually find the entrance that was where we came from before. So I think this is the entrance down over here. So let's actually drop down here. And we got to be careful because Banjo does take fall damage. So we want to make sure that we don't want to actually kill ourselves now. Don't want to kill ourselves. Yeah, so the next level that we're about to head in next time is called Treasure Trove Cove. So... Alright, niggas, like, comment, and subscribe, and next time we'll be the same exact place doing the same exact motherfucking thing, and we about to do a little more exploring. We about to do a little more exploring. Alright, niggas, we in this shit, baby.